of trouble with my camera, but uh, it seems like <laughs> I'm back on. So I have to go to a meeting real quick. So I will um, uh, go as far as I can with this one, and then I will redo it. Okay, so what we're talking about today is automation. <laughs> automation in your home. The last video I did had a, some kind of crazy error, and for the life of me, I could not download it. I could not do anything I needed to do, so here it goes again. <laughs> so <laughs> I tried to correct it three times, so that's enough. <laughs> Something happened, and it did not go well. So um, talking about automation, we're going to talk about the two that I know a little bit of, and that's Siri and Alexa, which I have. Um, Alexa was kind of jumping all over the place because <laughs> I kept on mentioning her. So um, anyway, uh, for those of us who are in wheelchairs, sometimes we have difficulty uh, reaching things or turning things on or turning things off. Uh, you know, depending on the height of our wheelchair, if we're quadriplegics or whatever the case might be. So there is a um, a pretty simple simple solutions to those issues. So um, one of them is Siri, which you know there's a lot of things you can do with Siri or with Alexa. But the basic things you can do with Siri is you know the calendar, checking the weather, looking up things on the internet via voice. So um, that gives you a, a big a big advantage right there instead of trying to, you know, do it on the internet, on the computer, on the laptop. So, so you can do it by voice on Siri, or, you know, Siri has a certain, um, you know, like heating and cooling systems that have, that communicate with Siri. So then you can adjust the heat or program the heat whichever way you want via voice. Then there are air conditioners, I guess, that you can turn on via voice, but you have to purchase the whole unit. You have to purchase the whole heating and cooling unit, um, and it gets, it gets a little expensive, folks. So um, what I like about Alexa is, I'm saying it softly so <laughs> she doesn't wake up. Um, what I like about Alexa is that you only have to buy you know, small parts that you would need for XYZ situation. Now, some of the parts are a little bit bigger, like if you have a curtain, it opens and closes. This way, you can get the rod that communicates with um, Alexa, and that can be a little get a little expensive. Uh, what I use is the, the lights, as you can see, that are on right now. So um, if I ask Alexa right now to turn them off, uh, she will do that, and, and what she uses is uh, special light bulbs that I purchased. You know, I wait until they go on sale, and um, then, uh, you know, I get them. So um, these turn off and on uh, by voice. So if I do, Alexa, turn off the lights. Alexa, turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. There you go. So she'll turn off the lights if I ask her, and she'll turn them back on if I ask her. So I think this lighting is, is good because I'm getting the lighting from the window, so we'll leave it at that. But um, that's what I'm saying in terms of automation, automating you know, your, your home so that you're a little bit more independent. There's also a plug that communicates with Alexa, and um, I have a small light. I don't think you'll be able to see it because it's too small. <laughs> it's a small light that, um, uh, let me see if I can turn the camera. Hold on. So that is the little lamp that I have connected to my table and Alexa will um, turn it off and on because it's plugged into the, the plug for Alexa. So, um, 
so that will uh, that works when I'm trying to film at night because sometimes it's too dark in the room. So I'll turn on all my lights and this little light and then uh, sometimes the back one. But the back one glows in, on top of my head, <laughs> so it doesn't look very good. But the, the two side lamps and this little one will, will do. And then I can film at night. Um, and I can do it all by voice. And I don't have to worry about reaching over or trying to climb. And <laughs> if I'm in the wheelchair, I can't do that. Um, so it's it's important to uh, choose, pick and choose, look at both systems, Siri and Alexa, see which one fits best for your needs and your pocketbook. <laughs> Because some things can get a little expensive. Um, you know, I know with series a little bit more expensive because you had to buy the entire units. And that can get a little expensive. But with Alexa, things are a little bit m cheaper. And um, you can buy smaller, smaller units, uh, smaller pieces that can either connect to a lamp or connect to whatever you want to turn on and off via voice. Um, you, uh, for locks that are important, uh, you have to purchase the unit that will um, talk to uh, Alexa. So, so that's, that's important to, to get a lock. And there are also locks that uh, talk to Siri. So I think one might be more expensive than the other. Um, then uh, there is uh, cameras, you know, doorbell cameras, in which you can talk back and forth. Uh, you can see who is at the door. So I think that is critical uh, for someone who is, you don't know the person, they still want to talk to you, they can talk all they want, and you can walk away. <laughs> Leave them there. <laughs> but if you're expecting somebody, you know, just check, make sure it's them. And um, there goes Alexa reminding me of my medication. So I'm going to pause here. So if you already have Siri or Alexa, tell us your experience. Um, it has it been helpful, has it not been helpful, and um, let us know. I usually ask, you know, for input uh, for these things because I only have my, my view, my experiences, and you have yours. So with mine and yours, then, then it helps the, the community get as much information about these things as possible. So Siri and Alexa. And there are other self-contained automation, such as, you know, lights that will turn on when you walk up to them and they'll turn off when you leave. Uh, maybe that's all you need. And those you can buy separate. You don't have to do anything else with it. So you can buy, for lights, you can do that. Um, you know, just buy separate units that, that are not voice controlled. They're more motion controlled. So if you want to buy units like that, like if you roll into the kitchen and you're just looking for a cup that the lights will turn on in a certain area so that you can see when you go in the kitchen, you don't have to bother turning on lights. Um, and they'll turn off when you leave. So you can do that kind of thing um, so that you don't have to bother with Siri or Alexa. <laughs> With either of those two guys, women. <laughs> but just so you know, with Alexa, you can change her voice uh, to male voice or other voices that you like. So it doesn't have to be the Alexa voice that we're so familiar with. Um, Siri, I don't know if she, if she, he, it <laughs> has different voices. Uh, but you might uh, be able to switch them out to something you like. So they're very programmable, that's what I'm saying. So they're very flexible. So think about it in your needs, what do you think you uh, would uh, benefit uh, the most from? You might live with a family, so they help you a lot with other things. Uh, but if you live by yourself, then you've got to think of the automation in, in your home so you can close the curtains on your own so that you can take a look and see who's at the door for your own safety. Uh, you can take a look at, you know, lighting so that you can program it and the heat system to see how you can 
uh, maneuver that on your own. So it is about independence. It's about safety. It's about, you know, those kind of things. And even right now, for, for the holidays that are coming up, <laughs> you can ask for a little gift <laughs> and get Alexa with a few uh, gadgets with her um, or Siri. Siri and Alexa have not asked me to promote this uh, product uh, either way. I'm just bringing it up uh, because I think it is uh, a, uh, an awesome tool uh, for those of us in wheelchairs and we can't reach things and uh, or we're in a lot of pain. We can't do one thing or the other, but we can do it by voice. So uh, that's what I wanted to throw out there. So if you have more information and uh, you have experiences with one or the other, now, some people have fears that Alexa or Siri are listening in, blah, 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 and it's your safety. You do have to change the password. Uh, it's, it has happened to some people that people have broken into it, but it, you have to change the password, not with the password it came with, but with a different password. So uh, so I know that's that's true for Alexa, so that's one of the things I did right away. So I don't know with Siri if she comes with a password, but if she does, I would change it. Um, so, so only you have that password. Um, uh, so it's just those little details that, you know, these types of automation help us if, if we're savvy about them and read up about them. So uh, passwords are important. Uh, to make sure that only you have the password of XYZ. So, uh, same thing for your laptop. Be changing your your uh, your passwords every three months, every six months, so that you are safe on your phone and on your laptop. So, so those are my recommendations for anything that's automated, uh, anything that you're going to use that's uh, automation. Uh, think about so think about those those details, but don't fear them. You know, the more savvy you are, uh, the better it will work in your favor. So I want to keep this video uh, short so you can spend your time thinking about, do I want Siri? Do I want Alexa? Do I want something else that's simpler, that it's self-contained and not connected to either one? <laughs> so up to you, really. But know that there are tools out there that can help you a lot at home especially for those of us who live by ourselves and, and need that type of automation. All right. Take care, everyone. Uh, if you want to help the channel, feel free to uh, join us and subscribe. Do a like. Do any comments. Uh, do any uh, sharing that you would like to do. And I will see all of you in the next one.